Aisha. I'm Shaldine. And welcome guys to another service. Um, before we get into anything, I would like to introduce you guys to this young lady over here. Hey, hey Miss Shaldine in the house. Mm. We're hoping she'll be joining us today and hopefully she'll join us for many other videos to come. Um, before we actually get into it today, let's pray. Shaldine, can you pray for us? Yes. Okay. Mm. Let's close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Lord. Thank you for this wonderful day you've given to us, Lord. Lord, thank you for protecting us, being with us today, Lord. Lord, thank you for giving us the opportunity to give the service to everyone that's watching, Lord. Lord, I pray that you be with them, protect them, and show them the right path, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Lord. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen! amen. <laughs> Guys, before we kick off the lesson, let's stretch a little bit. Up, up, up. Uh, up, side. And that side. Are you ready to go to praise worship? Yes, I am. <laughs> let's go to praise worship. <laughs> There is either, like Sheldon's mommy, a bottle of perfume or um, just something specific that, that can either be expensive or has very, very great value for them. Like it means so much to them. 
and they don't want to use it. It's like they use only little by so little. The, tiny, the tiniest bit so that it can stay for a long time. But today's lesson, we'll actually be talking about how Mary used something in her house that was actually quite expensive for Jesus. And for her, it was no big deal at all because she just wanted to do so much for Jesus. So let's get into the lesson for today, guys. Like, it, And it's such a nice one, such a nice one. Guys, so today we will be talking about um, Mary and something very profound Mary actually did for Jesus. Um, this was six days before Passover. Um, and Jesus came to the town of um, Bethany, where Lazarus was born and also Lazarus' person, Jesus, raised from the dead. So Jesus went to the house and they had a supper. Martha served Jesus and Lazarus obviously was also at that house. And everybody wanted to come because they knew Jesus was there. And also, not only did they know Jesus was there, they also wanted to see the man Lazarus. Lazarus that um, Jesus raised from the dead and as they all sitting there Mary decided they had a nice feast and all of those things and Mary decided I want she she within herself decided that there's something that she wanted to do for Jesus and you know this is what Mary actually did it takes a selfless act it takes an extremely Someone that really cares for the next person to do something like that. And what Mary ended up doing is, there's this ointment called nod. Pure nod. And this, and in that time, this ointment was extremely expensive. And it smelled nice. It had a nice aroma. It had a perfume of, on it. It smelled so nice. And this perfume was actually quite expensive as well. And um, she decided she's going to take that ointment. And she's going to put it on Jesus' feet and she's going to wash his feet. But not only did she decide that she's going to wash his feet with something that was in that time very expensive, she also decided she's going to take her own hair as a towel to dry his feet with. And when you think of today, would you do something like that? Take something that's expensive in your in your house and actually share it with Jesus or just use it all for Jesus. Because she took a pound of it. Like it's a lot. She actually used a, quite a, a bit of it. She wasn't um, shy about this very expensive ointment that she was using for Jesus' feet. And not only the ointment, but using her own hair to dry his feet. It just means that she cared for him so much. Um, and then there was this Judas. Judas was also there. And Judas came and Judas said, why are you using something so expensive to um, clean Jesus' feet with and, and wash over his feet? Why didn't you um, sell it or, or give to the poor or something like that? And Jesus said to him, um, on that, before Jesus actually said this to him, think about it, Judas wasn't even really concerned about the poor people or he was just he was just a common thief at that point he was just a thief and he was just thinking of himself also at that point mind you he was, was also one of the people that would end up deceiving um jesus or going against jesus in that sense but um jesus then answered him when he said why don't you sell it give it to the poor or sell it or something like that jesus actually said to him the poor will always be there. You will have the poor with you always, but you're not always going to have me with you. And I, um, I think almost like when Jesus said this, it's almost as if Mary already felt that this was going to happen. That's why she didn't think twice to actually go and wash Jesus' feet with this ointment and to dry his feet with her hair because all she was thinking about was just showing Jesus how much she actually loved him and actually that she did love him that much. She cared for him so much that she would give something as expensive as the pure nod and, and not only expensive but using her own hair to actually dry his feet. 
she just felt she just loved him so much that she wanted to do anything and everything for him at that moment because obviously now he also just confirmed that he wouldn't be with him for a, for a while like he would he wouldn't be with him for a long time and in our lives as well we need to also be very aware of what we do for jesus because we should adore him so much that we want to give that very expensive perfume <laughs> if we have or you know we, sometimes we've got these nice bath oils that cost so much and expensive bath bombs and all these things and stuff that we pleasure stuff that we actually hold close to our hearts that we wouldn't that because because it's something worldly that we would give it up to jesus at any moment because we should love him as he loves us we should love him and not only love him but love each other as well and in that sense we should share with each other things as well like because i think in that sense that that's what jesus kind of wants for us he wants us to love others like he loves us and when you give something that means a lot to you to someone else yes it might be a worldly thing but because it means so much to you when you give it to the next person and it doesn't have to be a physical thing as well it can be something that you do for the next person as well um when you give a part of yourself something that is yours and something that means a lot to you to someone else it actually means that you from the heart gives it give it to that person and that you 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 care for that person doing small things for each other is also very important because the small things can make a very big difference in someone's life and all like i said all jesus wants for us is to just love each other we, sh we should stop um thinking only about ourselves but think about each other as well like um the bible says love thy neighbor like you love yourself and then jesus just wants the same for us so i want to encourage you guys today take out that expensive oils and <laughs> the perfumes and spoil someone else as well like mary did with jesus she did a selfless act for jesus because she just wanted to show him how much she loved him and like i said it doesn't have to be something a physical thing that you give to someone it can be a deed or an act or something that you do for the next person because remember always we need to adore jesus we need to love him and when we love him and adore him we will do the things that he asks or expects of us and that is the same like we spoke last week as well when we said jesus um jesus wants us to follow his every command and so love each other and adore jesus with all your heart okay guys so we're going to be taking out today's bible verse from john 13 verse 34 can you guys get up and do it with me okay john 13 verse 34 says as i love you so you should love each other john 13 verse 34 says as i love you so you should love each other mm. guys it's time for us to say goodbye again until next time um but it was so lovely to actually teach you guys today about how we should love each other and how we shouldn't be shy to take out that expensive thing <laughs> and just share what you have with the next person inside and out so jesus loves us and we need to love each other <laughs> before we go sheldon can you close in prayer for us yes okay heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus i pray lord lord thank you for this wonderful day you've given to us lord lord thank you for protecting us throughout this day lord lord thank you for giving us strength to go through this day lord lord i pray that you protect every single soul watching this lord even if they're not watching this lord i pray that you be with them protect them and help them make the right decisions lord lord i thank you for make i thank you for giving us the opportunity to teach every child that's watching this about the word of god lord and we pray that you protect them be with them help them make the right decisions in life lord Imagine the Jesus, I pray, Lord. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Who are we?
Children of God. And what are we?